Good morning, St. Albert the Great at Assumption Academy. Teachers, staff, and students, I'm Johnny Dorsey. And I'm Daniel Napora. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Viking AM. AM. Today is Friday, January 13th. Let's begin our day with prayer. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please face the flag for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Viking Code. Do your best, do what's right, and treat others as you wish to be treated. The theme for this month is peace. The fact or fiction question is, football was the first sport to be played in space. Do you think that is fact or fiction? Stay tuned till the end of the broadcast to see if your guess is correct. Today in history, in 1999, Michael Jordan retired for the second time. He's the GOAT. For sure, yeah. Now over to VSPN. Good morning, sports fans. I'm Brett Kelly, and welcome back to VSPN. In the NBA, the Cavs are playing like one of the best teams in the league as they just beat the Trail Blazers. Don Donovan Mitchell was our highest scorer with 26. In the NFL, the Browns season is officially over. They lost to the Steelers, and now we can sit back and watch the NFL playoffs. The Bills are on a hot streak after what happened to Lamar Hamlin. He was just recently discharged from the hospital, but we should not stop praying for him now. In college football, the TCU Horned Frogs ended up losing as they were destroyed by the Georgia Bulldogs 65-14. to Stetson Bennett had 304 yards and four touchdowns. I'm Brett Kelly, and that wraps up this edition of ESPN. I will see you next week with updates and highlights of the week in sports. Happy birthday to Sophia Schultes in fifth grade. Let's give her a special Viking clap. <laughs> Woo! Today is lunch. It's mozzarella sticks or cheese pizza with dipping sauce with a side of carrots, pears, or seasonal fresh fruit. Mm. It sounds delectable. Yeah, it sounds good. Now over to Gabby and Annie. Good morning, everyone. Annie and Gabby here. Today's weather is going to be a high of 32 and a low of 25, snowy. We were wishing for a snow day. Today's national days are National Sticker Day and National Rubber, Duck Rubber Ducky Day. Now for announcement on our Student Council Conference. Wednesday, our Student Council officers attended a leadership conference at St. Albert the Great presented by Keith Hawkins. Keith is a national youth speaker whose mission is to help make the world a better place where we understand value all and all people by building meaningful relationships. His presentations are real and straight from the heart. Keith's goal is to empower students not to be normal, not to go with the status quo, but to believe in themselves and what they can do to make changes in their lives and in others as well. We all had a very good time and learned so many new things we are excited to share with him. Now for our January dress down. Student Council will be holding a January dress down on Thursday, January 26th for a donation of an adult or child size hat, pair, or a pair of gloves or a scarf, or a donation of one dollar or more. Students may wear hoodies along with jeans or sweatpants to school. Donations will be collected in homerooms now through January 26th. This month, this month, the hat, gloves, mittens, and scarves, along with collected donations, will be delivered to St. Herman's House. Let's keep some of our fellow Clevelanders a little warmer this year. Now for some Viking sports. The eighth grade boys basketball team has a game on Saturday at 5.30 at St. Ambrose. We wish you luck. If you, would like to, if you would like us to announce any Viking news updates, please contact Mr. K, Mr. Schreiner, or one of the broadcast team members. The saint of the day is St. Hilary Portis. St. Hilary of Portis was a bishop of Portis and a doctor of the church. He was sometimes referred to as the hammer of Arians and the enthusiasts of the West. His name comes from the Latin word for happy or cheerful. St. Hilary, pray for us. Pray for us. That's all we have for you today. I'm Gabby. Back to Johnny and Daniel at the desk. Hey, Daniel, you want to hear a joke? Sure. Why wouldn't the sesame seed leave the casino? Uh, I don't know why. Because he was on a roll. <laughs> that's, true, that's really funny. Get it? Like yeah. a, a roll, like sesame roll? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. Good joke. <laughs> now, let's see if your guess to the fact or fiction question is correct. The correct answer is... Fact, golf, fiction, golf was the first sport played in space. 
space. That, that, yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. I wonder how far it went. All right. Probably um, forever. Just a reminder that we do not have school on Monday due to Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This broadcast brings us to the close of the first semester and our first semester broadcast team. Attached to this broadcast is a blooper video for your enjoyment. Well, that's all all of us have for you today. I'm Johnny. And I'm Daniel. And that's, that's fucking it. Yeah.